Much attention has been made of the MiG-35 Russia's multirole fighter that was designed by Mikoyan, division of the United Aircraft Company. The Mikoyan MiG-35 is a Russian multirole fighter jet developed from the MiG-29 family of aircraft. It is designed to perform a wide range of missions including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. The all-weather combat attack aircraft was developed to be capable of destroying enemy targets day or night, including moving and stationary ground and surface targets. This fighter aircraft has the latest electronic equipment, new engines, and other systems. The Minig-35 made its first flight and was first publicly revealed in 2007. Rather, it has been described as an upgraded variant of the MiG-29 KR, and the name could be a very clever marketing ploy. Especially as the 35 number certainly evokes comparisons to the Sukhoi Su-35 as well as the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The MiG-35 may have more in common with the Su-35, however. Besides its Russian origins, it isn't a fifth-generation fighter, and at best is really a fourth-generation plus-plus jet fighter that is a further development of the Mikoyan MiG-29K and Mikoyan MiG-29M aircraft. It's claimed that this aircraft has a variety of integrated defensive systems to increase combat survivability. That should all sound impressive, but it isn't actually a new platform. Main roles of this aircraft is to gain air superiority as well as to perform all-weather precision ground strikes. It can also perform aerial reconnaissance with special equipment. It's claimed that this aircraft has a variety of integrated defensive systems to increase combat survivability. It is likely that this fighter will be fitted with a new Italian multifunction jammer. The aircraft was developed for a number of years. In 2013, it was announced that Russian Air Force plans to order a total of 37 new aircraft. By 2016, a total of three prototypes and two pre-production aircraft were completed. Factory trials of this aircraft were completed in 2017. The initial two jets were single-seat MiG-35S with the port number 702 and two-seat MiG-35UB, carrying 712. These aircraft had both completed maiden flights towards the end of November 2016. Should the new generation Fulcrum ever enter VKS service, it will likely receive the MiG-35 as single seat and MiG-35 UB two seat designations. Internally, RAC MiG calls these aircraft 9.41 SR and 9.47 SR respectively. In fact, they both share a common airframe structure and cockpit canopy. The single simply eliminates the seat from the rear cockpit and replaces it with an additional fuel tank. The Mikoyan MiG-35 is known for its agility and maneuverability, which are essential qualities for a fighter aircraft. The MiG-35's design and engine thrust vectoring capabilities allow it to achieve super maneuverability, enabling rapid changes in direction and altitude during dogfights. The aircraft is fitted with two Klimov RD-33 MK afterburning turbofan engines, which can enable the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of max 2.25 and it has a combat range of about 620 miles. The aircraft has a high roll rate, allowing it to roll quickly, which is useful in evading enemy missiles and changing direction during combat. The MiG-35 is capable of carrying a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, including missiles, bombs, and gun pods. It can be armed with a variety of precision-guided munitions, making it effective for ground attack missions. Just this month, the press service of the MiG Corporation announced that a smart target system based on neural networks could be employed in the MiG-35. The work is underway on the system of automated taxiing after airplane landing on the smart target identification system based on neural networks, enabling target identification by a fragment. The MiG-35 can perform the Cobra maneuver is an even more extreme maneuver that involves pinching the nose up, rotating the aircraft to a near vertical position, and then recovering. This maneuver is used to quickly change the direction of the aircraft and disorient adversaries.
The cockpit is designed with a focus on pilot ergonomics and situational awareness. It features a hands-on throttle and stick control system for ease of operation. The aircraft is equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems to enhance survivability in hostile environments. However, with its vastly improved avionics and advanced weapons systems, including the new Fazatron Juk Active Phase Array Radar, it shouldn't be readily dismissed. The radar system can detect multiple targets, is resistant to electronic countermeasures, and has a longer detection range than previous Russian-made radar platforms. Almost several years on from the MiG-35's first flight, there's no sign of the hope for large-scale orders for the warplane from the Russian Defense Ministry. Moreover, when it comes to the price tag, the difference between lightweight products from RAC MiG and the heavyweight offerings from the Sukhoi stable can be overstated. Even in its original form, the cost of a basic MiG-29 was 80% that of the Su-27 flanker. The difference in operating costs between the two fighters was also similar. The MiG-35 presents supermaneuverability, a capability to fly at supercritical angles of attack at increased level of sustained and available deloads and high turn angle rate, which requires a greater thrust-to-weight ratio and improved wing aerodynamic efficiency, and ensure that it will also remain controllable in zero speed and negative speed, tail forward areas for sustained periods. While token efforts were made to enhance the MiG-29's survivability during its early development, the MiG-35 features a more modern self-protection suite in which a radar warning receiver is combined with a missile approach warning system and two wingtip laser warners. The latest generation armament includes both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground stores, among them the RVVSD air-to-air -air missile, an improved version of the R-77, with active radar seeker for engagements at beyond visual range. Alongside the full range of conventional air-to-ground weapons, new generation precision-guided stores include the modular KH-38 air-to-surface missile and the Grom E-2 family of glide munitions. An addition of a strap-on tank behind the cockpit has allowed MiG-35 to have a higher internal fuel capacity of 950 liters. The capacity of the external fuel tank suspended under the fuselage has increased up to 2,000 liters. Ferry range with three external fuel tanks has also been increased, rising to 3,100 kilometers, and with one in-flight refuel in the range will be 5,400 kilometers. With every variant, McCoyan has worked to rebrand the MiG-29 from an air superiority fighter to an all-purpose that excels in a ground attack capacity. Given the considerable improvements that it inherits from prior variants, it is difficult to see how the MiG-35 revolutionizes Russia's aircraft roster. It is, however, shaping up to the culmination of decades' worth of Russian aerospace engineering experience and Russia's most capable multi-role fighter to date. Without a doubt, the MiG-35 is a capable fighter. The similar MiG-29M or M2 has also secured an export order from Egypt. However, prospects for the new generation fulcrum with the Russian aerospace forces appear slim. Combined with the continued ascendancy of the flanker and with the all-new Su-57 waiting in the wings, it's becoming increasingly hard to make the case for a large-scale MiG-35 order. These maneuvering capabilities make the MiG-35 a formidable fighter in air-to-air -air combat scenarios. Its ability to perform extreme maneuvers gives it an advantage in dogfights and air engagements, allowing it to outmaneuver and engage adversaries effectively. However, it's important to note that while these maneuvers are possible, they are typically executed by highly skilled pilots under controlled conditions and may not be used in every combat situation. We sincerely thank you for your time given to watch our content. 
We hope you enjoy what we have presented. Thank you for your support and see you in our next video or content.